Well, hello, my name is Kelly and I am the Mathematic Plumber and today we're going to look at low pressure gas line sizing. In order to size a gas line properly, we need to know a couple things first. First of all, what type of gas are we running? So for this example, we are running natural gas. What pressure are we running at? Well, this meter is outputting between 7 and 14 inches of water column. But we need to know that. The next thing we need to know is what type of pipe are we going to use? Is it going to be copper tubing or black iron? In this case, it is black iron. And the next thing we need to know is what is my maximum allowable pressure drop? Well, be because I'm between 7 and 14 inches of water column, I have a maximum pressure drop of 1 inch water column. So the other thing that we do need to know is the length of pipe or the longest measured run. We need to start at the outlet of the meter and go until we connect into the most distant appliance. And that's as the pipe goes. So we're actually gonna measure out the pipe. So right here, we have three feet of pipe before it goes into the wall there. So this is where we come through the wall from the gas meter and it comes across about four feet. About four feet and then it turns and goes up through this joist like this. So I have three feet outside, four feet coming across, that's seven feet. We come across here, almost fall over, and it goes down behind that beam. Another 25 feet, we are at 32 feet. As you can see right down here, we drop about four inches down, and which technically speaking, we need to measure in, but my measurement says, hey, when I go down here and follow this all the way over to where the furnace and hot water tank are, that's a further 25 feet to this junction point right there. And that's including the four inch drop back there. So we are now at uh, 32 plus 25 is 57 feet. So at this point, I drop down this way over to the furnace which ends there, or I've got another option where I drop down through to the hot water tank. Now I need to measure both of these right from the meter. And this measured run here, I need to add on an extra eight feet from there to the furnace. So 57 plus eight is 65 feet. But this is about a foot longer going from there to the hot water tank. And so that is 66 feet. However, you'll see this little gas line coming off the top right there and it goes all the way over here and eventually goes up to my gas fireplace right there. So that is an additional 12 feet going across here plus three feet upstairs to connect up to the gas fireplace. So that is an additional 15 feet. So 15 feet Plus the 57 that we got to right there, that is 72 feet. That is my longest measured, measured run, and that is what I'm going to base all my sizing off of that 72 foot length.